Hello guys, um, welcome to my video. For this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my perspective from how I, I manage my eco when I play the game. I'm gonna be explaining to you guys my thought process, what goes inside my head when I play the game, you know? How I manage to, you know, control my ec economy efficiently. Basically, that, basically, that's the goal of this video. And I'm not really gonna be talking anything about build orders or like, um, I'm not gonna be investing units or w anything or like that's you know, that's considered an offensive unit. I'm just gonna be making engineers. I'm just gonna be echoing up and show you guys how how to echo up. You know. I'm just gonna focus on the eco and like. Explain to you guys, you know. I'm not gonna be talking like all the time. I'm gonna concentrate, you know. And like, I'm gonna try my best here. So I wanna aim for like a full tech free max timing. I don't know how how early can I achieve the timing, but you know, let's see. I'm gonna be explaining the stuff that I do, you know. This is already like. Instinct because I do this all the time. It's not like I have an exact. Uh, it's not like I have a. Uh, I don't know how to explain. It's all intuitive, you know. Like nothing here is you know planned or whatever. It's like the model of pigeons or, you know. Stuff like that, you know. The exact timings and whatever. It's all random. So as far as you can see how I'm using all my eco there, you can see I'm not overflowing. I always use all your eco early on. That's why I'm able to use this engineer as an extra build power to assist my commander because I can't afford it as you can see. My eco energy is, is barely reaching zero. If, if I didn't assist my commander and I expanded instead, I would be delaying all my pigeons and I would be floating a lot of energy and mass if I didn't assist my commander. That's what I mean by like using all of the eco you have and make sure you don't stall. As you can see, I didn't stall once, but as I said, it, this is something I do all the time, so it's already like you know, it's kind of already calculated. I also not gonna be explaining the tree reclaim pattern. This is something very complicated. Maybe I might make a video about it. Maybe. But not today. You guys might not realize it, but I already made a few mistakes here. But you know, it's fine, you know. In fact, one or two mistakes, everyone makes, no one is perfect. But as you can see, look at my mess. Look how it's below 100 and I'm using all my mess. I'm using the NG to reclaim the rocks and that's why I can afford all of this without stalling. You can see like my equal bar didn't reach zero once. That's one thing you don't want to happen. And you can see that my mass bar and my energy bar never goes above fifty percent, and I'm gonna try to remain consistent like that for throughout the whole game. Let's see if I'm able to do that though. Hmm, actually, let's do like this. And this is not something I used to do, but because I'm not gonna be making any units, I can I guess I can do this. You can see how my mass bar always stays on the negative. 
But I will always I wanna make sure I never stall here. I'll, wait, let me activate my UI mod. Eco manage mod. Uh where is it? Oh I don't have it turned it on. Okay, I it's turned off. Okay, whatever. It's fine. You can see like I'm my I'm using all my mass and I don't really need to make more energy because my energy bar is full. But it also depends. Energy is also not a complicated topic, but now we're gonna be talking about it in full details in this game. I'm just gonna be doing what I normally do. As you can see once again, like how I'm using all my mass. I didn't go below zero once. As you can see, once I start stalling, I start making energy. But as I said, this is all calculated. That's that's why I can I kind of planning beforehand the stuff that I'm doing. But like I never did it this way. I always make air units and nave units. But this time I'm not making anything. This is like a completely different way of playing. Plus I'm not using the eco manager UI mod, so it's kind of difficult to keep track of remixes. Maybe I might explain to you guys Eco Manager how I use it too, just like how I explained how I use the UI Party mod. Now, as you can see, when I'm close to stalling, I always make sure you pause stuff. Like you can see, my mess was on negative, it was about to reach zero. What you should always do before you reach zero, always pause some stuff. Don't make all maxes at once. Always finish the the maxes that are close to finishing and the maxes that have more build power you don't want to unpause at one percent max with no build power you want to unpause at 99 percent max with 10 engineers assessed to the max you know but don't like make everything at once make sure you use the model mass that you can afford to use you know and look at my mass bar it still didn't go below zero and i'm using all the mass and I'm making energy. I might pass some of my en engineer engineers because I don't need that much, that mess. And now like I can unpass some stuff because my max is finished upgrading. You can see it's pretty hard. Like I'm using in and out and that's what I say when I talk about like you have to constantly keep zooming out. You know, you have to watch your maxes and stuff. You have to fucking, fo you have to Focus on managing everything can be pretty hard. I'm, I'm kind of struggling because, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I don't have the U eco manager mod. So, you know, I can't kind of see my maxes properly. I'm too used to the eco manager mod. The reason why we claim this factory is because I don't need any more build power. I already have enough build power to use my mass. So, like, by making more engineers, I'm just going to be... Um, just waste the mass that it could be using to upgrade my maxes faster. So like, don't make sure you don't overinvest in, in uh, build power. But that's another another topic as well. That's something like you know. I don't think I should be talking about that now. You can see like how my eco bar like it never went above zero, uh, below zero. I mean. 
You can see I always spot my stuff to make sure I'm not stalling. Look at my MS bar, plus 10. And you can see once my maxes start finishing, I already start on pausing. I'm not gonna be grabbing more any more trees because that's all the trees that you know, those trees are not mine. I'm just gonna grab the ones that are mine. You can see how like you know, I always manage to stay on minus but I never reach zero. I'm about to, so I have to unpause some stuff. I was busy talking, that's why, you know, you can be this is kind of cheating what I'm doing here, but you know what I mean. Like when you see you're stalling, pause some stuff, pause some stuff, trust me, pause some stuff. Pause making energy, engineers, pause making power, and stuff like that. And just focus on finish your max upgrade. And then when, when you see you have, you're not uh, spending more mass, and pause everything. You know. And now I can already start capping more maxes. Here you can see my mess is on negative. And now you can see I'm still using all my mess. My max have all been finished or oh, attack two now. I'm gonna start to cap. One tip, don't go tech for maxes. Cap your maxes instead. Capping is more efficient. Capping gives way you way more mass since you know costs less. So you know, always make sure you cap your maxes first. But it depends on the situation. It really depends, but I'm not going to be talking about it this game. Let's continue. It's time to go tech 2, so I'm going to go tech 2, make tech 2 pigeons. At some point, 2 and pigeons become very inefficient at some point. Now, this is what I talk about. Uh, the third mistake that I pointed out in my game is to... Wait. Is, you know... Over overestimating the amount of energy you have like you can see like I'm starting to rapidly lose my energy bar because I'm going all in on my upgrade people tend to install energy and they start losing mass in the end like you know afterwards and that's not something want to happen so what you should do here is pause some engineers and make sure you don't stop energy like like the minus 40 should be good enough I don't want to Unpause any more engineers, otherwise I might reach a critical point where I might stall energy. That's not something we want to happen. And now I can make the t two pigeons and go tech free to make a tech free pigeon. Pause everything. Yeah, you can see my mass bar is still negative and it's like still like below 20%. You can see I'm managing to use all of it. Oh, why did my stuff pause here? That's not not good. And when you see, like, you see the energy is quickly decreasing to zero, pause your stuff. If you have mass, but you don't have energy, make sure you make energy and don't stall. So, pause the engineers making the storages, because you don't need this mass, the mass, extra mass from the storages, because you already have enough mass. You need energy, so prioritize making energy first. Don't stall while making energy, it's just gonna slow down your pigeon. Now, when the pigeon is finished, I unpause everything. And uh, I can afford both the mesh torches and I can afford to make a second pigeon without stalling, as you can see in my, in my, in my eco bar. And I'm gonna go tech free. The higher the tech of your pigeon, the more efficient it is. That's why I'm rushing tech free pigeon. It's way more efficient, it's way better. I'm gonna start making engineers from this factory now. I have enough build power. I'm gonna be making engineers from this factory because I wanna have build power on my ACU. Yeah. And, uh, and now I'm gonna, once I cap all my maxes, I'm gonna transition to making tech free maxes. And I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with like soon. Oops. Big mistake, big mistake. Don't mind me. <laughs> Just a minor mistake, nothing much. There you go. Queue up the upgrades. I can start my first stack remax now. Mm. 
Now, as you can see, I'm I'm just making the upgrade in tech from X. Nothing else. Everything is already kept. Everything else is paused. We don't want to stall. And you know, now we can oh we can pause this. We can I mean control create this. We don't need this build power anymore. Enough build power, and we're just you know gonna do that. Guys, one tip. When you're only focusing on one or two things, one one thing, it's okay to stall because it's not gonna make a difference. Because they're not making anything else. The point of not stop of not stalling, it is not it is to not slow down your production. But if you're not producing anything else, you're just focusing on one thing alone. There is no problem in stalling. I'm making a tech film. Upgrade, but tech free upgrade is very cheap. We're not gonna pause it regardless. You can see, like, I'm not making anything. I'm just making the max, but I'm still stalling. This is the only exception where stalling can be acceptable. Because, you know, you can, this is inevitable. You can pause some engineers, but it's not gonna make a difference. Okay, now we can start another max upgrade here. And you can see I'm always on the negative, no matter what happens. That This is why you need a lot of build power when you play on this slot, specifically on this slot, because you have a lot of maxes, so you need the right amount of build, build power to be able to use the amount of mass that you have. Some people in this slot tend to make look, only a few engineers, like 10 engineers only, and when they upgrade max, they tend to stop, overflow a lot of mass because they don't have enough build power to use it. We can pause this, finish the max upgrade, and then we can make the T2 fusion. Pause everything, make the T2 fusion. Okay. There you go. Uh, and now I can unpause this, but don't unpause everything, because you can see now my energy is starting to decrease. It's on the negative. We don't want that to happen. We don't have one to start energy. Okay, now that now I can start queuing up to reclaim my pigeons because I'm gonna be making a lot of energy from this pigeon I'm not, I'm not gonna be needing those pigeons anymore because I'm gonna be overflowing a lot of power and, and like because we don't need the power we can use the power instead to produce mass by reclaiming the racks it's something you should always do when you have a lot of power if you have a lot of extra power just reclaim some of the pigeons but don't we you know we're just gonna explain it like you can see, we, if I have some extra mass energy, I can unpause stuff. I predict that my pigeon is gonna finish before my energy stalls is reaches zero, and that's why I'm not gonna pause anything. Let's just see if I'm correct. I'm not correct, so I'm gonna pause. There you go. And now, my, and now, and now that I I finish the pigeon, what I can do is again I can upgrade two maxes at once. Why? Because I'm going to get the extra mass and like this reclaim is going to add extra fuel to my mass bar. And that's going to allow me to be able to afford a second max without stalling. Because the pigeons are going to be giving, giving me enough power, I mean enough mass in order to afford two maxes at once. Yeah, you can see I'm making two maxes at once but I'm not stalling because of the pigeon reclaiming. If not for the reclaiming of the pigeons, I would definitely be stalling mass here. There you go. This max is gonna finish. I can make it. You can see I'm always making two maxes at once and not only making one because I can afford two maxes now. I'm not gonna cap the four core maxes. Yeah, let's go. You can see I'm using all my mass. If I'm gonna stall, I pause some. I don't have to use all of it. Just pay attention at my mass bar. You can see it's always on the five percent, between five and ten percent. It never goes anywhere beyond that. You just see how like I managed to stay so consistent with my mass bar. Okay, so it doesn't reach zero, and how it like I don't overflow mess either. That, that 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 this is how you eco perfectly. And when you're pausing, when you're stalling, pause some stuff. 
And now that I finished the max upgrade, I can now pause everything else. The reason why I'm not reclaiming this pigeon is because this pigeon alone is not is not enough to sustain my mass my, the amount of build power that I'm using. If I upgrade two to three maxes at once on one pigeon, I I can assure you that I'm gonna stall. I'm speaking this from experience. It's not you know calculation or whatever. It's just based on experience because I have a lot of experience with this. You need at least one T2 pigeon. You don't reclaim all of it. As you can see, look at my energy bar. Even with two pigeons, I'm starting to to stall because I'm making too many maxes and I'm making a pigeon at the same time. So what I'm gonna do here, I, I'm gonna pause this pigeon and I'm gonna first um, wait for this max to finish and then I can make my second pigeon. Or I can do this, I can pause this and make the pigeon. Boom. And you can see like I'm, I'm not using all my mass because I cannot afford it anymore so I have to make the pigeon. Yeah. You can see now my I'm stalling energy, so I have to make this pigeon and abandon everything else. I cannot afford to stall here, so I'm just gonna like unpause some engineers. You can see now I'm minus eighty energy. That's good enough. And once I my second pigeon is finished, now I can start upgrading every single max at once. There you go. I should have paused this factory way long ago, but whatever, it happens. You can see, even with two pigeons, I'm so close to stalling energy. Even with two pigeons, that's just how much mass I'm making at once. <laughs> okay, let's pause this. Because this max is on 1%, we want to make sure we pause this. We want to make sure the other finishes first. Okay, now we can unpause. Good. Nice. Just be up here a bit. Now we can just go all out and just upgrade everything at once because we have so much mass and we have so much energy that we can just freely just you know unpause everything, not worry about stalling. If we ever come close to stalling, like I said, just pause stuff. Just pause stuff. That's the secret of this game. Just pause stuff when you're gonna about to stall always. That's why you always have to keep attention on your mass bar. Always, always focus on your mass bar. If you're gonna bot stall like here, pause stuff. Uh, it's that simple. And when it st start stuff start to finish, you unpause. Very very simple principle of the game here. And now you can see those maxes are about to finish. I can uh, pause my ACU for a bit. Once this finishes, I'm gonna unpause my ACU and my engineers and the core base. Now I can upgrade this max without stalling as you can see. And now I'm gonna finish all my maxes. And boom, I got 18 maxes at minute 1620. Very fast time, I made no units, but as you can see that was nearly flawless equal balance. You can see how I didn't stall once, I didn't overflow once. And well, I had enough energy, enough mass for everything. I made the right amount of build power, blah blah blah. Now there's a huge, there's a huge flaw in this situation. But I'm not gonna talk about it. It has to something to do with, you know, the fact that I'm about to overflow 500 mass. But this is something for later. I'm not gonna discuss about it. This, the topic of this video is just about equaling up and getting your max as fast. And that's the video. I hope you enjoyed my my gameplay here, my thought process on how I equal. And that's the video, guys. See you later.